This is Peter's family. There are three generations present in his family. His paternal grandparents, his parents and his sister. Now see the chromosome number is same throughout all these three generations. And this constancy of chromosomal number is possible because of the reductional division or meiosis. See, one cell divides to form four cells with half the number of chromosomes. See, the female reproductive cell, ova, and the male reproductive cell, which is the sperm, has half the number of chromosomes, that is 23. So when these two reproductive cells fuse to form a new cell, which is known as the zygote, the zygote has 46 chromosomes, and that is how the number of chromosomes remain constant, because the reproductive cells show meiotic division. Now, because of fusion of the male and the female reproductive cells, the children get features from both the father and the mother. Yet, they don't look alike. There are variations present. Now, how do these variations arise? Well, suppose these are alleles for the eye color. If this gene is expressed, then it will give a blue eye color. If this gene is expressed, it will give a green color. And similarly, these are alleles for the skin color. If this gene is expressed, the person will have a dark complexion. And if this gene is expressed, then the person will be fair-skinned. Now suppose a woman is dark skinned and has blue eyes. Now this was the nucleus of a cell of this woman. As we can see, this woman is dark skinned and has blue eyes. So from here we can understand that blue is dominant over green and the dark skin is dominant over fair skin. During meiosis, there is equal division of chromosomes. So blue should get combined with dark skinned and green should get combined with fair skinned. So the daughters or the two offsprings from this woman should have this combination. Dark skinned with blue eyes and fair skin with green eyes. But let us see what actually had happened. This woman gave birth to two daughters who were both fair-skinned but had different eye colors. Now how did this happen? Well, during meiosis, crossing over can take place between these two non-sister chromatids. So one cell divides to form two cell. Now let us see this cell. This cell will undergo mitotic division after this reductional division. And in the mitotic division, equal chromosomal separation takes place. So blue gets combined with fair skinned. Also green gets combined with fair skin. To two daughters who had both fair skinned from this gene, but had different eye colors. This daughter had blue eyes and this daughter had green eyes. So meiosis uh, does not only uh, maintain the constancy of chromosomal number across generations, it also creates variation by crossing over between non-sister chromatids.